You're still tuned into my Diva's Radio, the best news station in the Bay. Getting ready here to wrap it up on the wrestling show on uh, my Diva's Radio. All right, now we are at the point where we are ending the show. So before we end it, this is the three count superstar feature of the day. And the people, the feature that I'm having today is a special one because of who it is. And if you're listening in the background, you can tell who I'm about to talk about. Mm. Mm. Yes. Oh yeah. The three count superstar feature for today is the Usos. And what I'm saying about the Usos right now is you started hating on them, but now you love them. But here's the thing. We see you. You haters, we see you. Because you started hating the Usos after they started being featured with Roman Reigns on TV. Then you started booing them. You started booing the Usos. But now, since they took the shift and they decided to and they decided to say, you know what? You can kiss it. Then all of a sudden you start loving them. You now now you're with the day one ish. Now you're with the Usos. But we see you. We see you. I'm featuring the Usos today because out of all the teams that are in the WWE right now, you cannot have a conversation that says which team is the best without including the Usos. And I mean Raw, SmackDown, and NXT. The Usos are right up there. I'm not even saying they're right up there in the top tier. No, they're right up there in the top two, for that matter. When you speak about the best teams in WWE right now, you can speak about your Sheamus and Cesaros. You can speak about your Gallows and Andersons. You can speak about your New Days. You can speak about your Revivals. But you cannot have that conversation without including the Usos. So go ahead and hate. It doesn't change the fact that they are one of, if not the best tag team in the WWE right now. Ladies and gentlemen, the Usos.